Dang. Is that right along one? Is that a compa mobile da? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. What's going on guys? Osk here back with another video. Hope you guys are having a great day today. So as you guys can still imagine, the truck is bedless. Um, I still don't have a bed. Carlos just actually got here right now. I'm that's what I was just gonna say. I'm waiting on Carlos now, but I actually hear his E36 outside right now. Let me go pop the damn garage open right now. <clears throat> Who's man's? Sick ass full as like black smoke's coming out of your exhaust. No, I'm just kidding. What's up, bro? Oh shit, water. <laughs> Sick ass full. <laughs> Dang, Papi Chulo, who are you? It's me. Dang, it's what's up, We haven't explained. I got a new hood, huh? Mm hmm. Where no, we haven't, know? but we haven't the oh. video, yeah. So, yeah, what happened right here? Um, let's just say um, something happened with your truck and it, it like kind of fucked it up real fast. Real good. I say it bang, 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 bang. But what's it called? So the old hood got bent when I hit Oscar. But anyways, yeah, it bent. So I got this new hood with the. It already came with the um, the hood pin. So I had to just install this. Mm -hmm. We had we had to um, take them. What was it? The condenser mounts? The, comen the condenser mounts off? So we zip tied instead of a. Because it was pulled by a Domino? Mm -hmm. A bolt? So, so right there. The, uh, what? The storage. The storage? Oh, okay. Right there. Then, yeah, so we had to remove those bolts mm -hmm. on the condenser because. So we could hook, cause the guy he hook latched it over there. No wonder why he didn't have a uh, dance car doesn't have AC. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, pretty much this condenser is just it's not plugged in. But technically, this hood is from um, dance or oh, oh, the new E36 yeah, Cause I bought it from the guy who built the car. So pretty much, yeah. Sick ass fool. Yeah, so and dude, I got it at a good price. Good. Guys with foot pants and everything. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So yeah, we've been lagging. Fucking Oscar. No, no Poor fucking bitch. me. No, bitch. I was working. Fuck you. Nah, I'm just playing. I was. Dude, I was. We literally couldn't make any videos too, because literally school and work is literally consuming all of our time. Yeah. Well, technically, <laughs> I think next year when I come back from Michigan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stupid. Michigan. When I come back from Michigan. Probably I'm gonna uh, order uh, tie rods for mm -hmm. this one and the Z4 because mm -hmm. I'm guessing the Z4's this one pretty much you need to because you can fill in the steering wheel. Mm -hmm. It's still drivable, but oh, I'm risking that. And then the Z4 needs some too. I I just noticed that mm -hmm. there. Angle kit. Yeah. Fuck! I don't want to get my hands dirty. Fuck that. Fucking Christian. <laughs> yeah. So we're out here. We came to somewhere. Maybe you guys know where this place is or not. But anyways, that's besides the point. This nigga out here fucking pretty much driving on a fucking empty tank of gas. No pasa nada, compa. This nigga's like, no trust me. Nada. He's like, trust me. He's no like, nada. he's like, fucking trust me. I know my car. I know my it's car. It's okay. Yeah. No worries. No pasa nada. Nigga. No pasa nada. We'll yeah. make it there. Fuck, I'm not gonna pay like 340 something for gas, nigga. Don't be fucking cheap. Fuck no. Dude, it's 325 over here, so I'm taking, I'm taking my risk. Fucking cheap, mom. If not, we're gonna push it. We're gonna push it. Christian's pushing. <laughs> no, you're pushing, bitch. Nah, I'm See, good. wait. Nah, wait. You're yeah. pushing. I'm not strong. Wait, I'm pushing. <laughs> God damn it, That's my uncle! That's my uncle! Is it? Yeah! That's my uncle! <laughs> That's my uncle! No mommy! That's my uncle! What the fuck? That is my uncle! That's my uncle! Sick ass! Dude, flame out by south. I think it's sick. I hear 
Lotex right here. Oh, he is right there. Lotex. Huh. That's funny. Got dang premium auto styling family emergency. Oh. No, pues está cabrón. Who's mini truck? Nice. That is what that is. Hi, George! You wanna go? <laughs> George is there too, huh? That one thing? Alright, All right, guys, I'm gonna block this part right here. But who do we just see right now? Nope Tech. So, uh, that's a. Uh, let's see. If you guys know who that is or do or do not, that's a uh, Low Tech George. Uh, we literally would stop by Premium because we were just fucking driving around Riverside. We just so happened to see his car because one of the guys was like, oh, Low tech. And so that's it. We're gonna just say bye right now. Bye, George. Whose man's is that in the Compa Mobile right here? <laughs> Compa Mobile. Hurry up, dog. We gotta catch the Compa Mobile. Free tech kicked in. Camera wheel too. Fucker, man. Compa Mobile, dog. Fucker. Ricky, what are you gonna do? Uh, I'm gonna install a lowering kit onto my truck. Really? So what are we gonna do? I'm going to Hong Kong. So we can't work on Oscar's truck in his house? Cause we can't make fucking noise? Yeah, right Ricky? Huh? We can't make noise at your house? What? This is Oscar's new daily, pretty much. So, oh fuck. Oh shit, I cannot get you. Who are you? Compa Gerardo Ortiz. Damn. For reals guys, his pickup, pickup, I mean, his pickup is for sale. So hit him up. Yeah, Ricky? Huh? Just say yes. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Push to start, bitch. Damn. Oh yeah. Um, we so we somehow stopped by in focus today, where we gotta meet a um, fucking low tech okay. dog. But uh, Carlitos over here, uh, he got himself a brand new shift boot, cause um, it's not kind of installed all the way in. But it's okay. blue for the boys. Yeah. Um, but what Shout do you out. think? Shout out. Shout out to InFocus. Um, shout out to Georgie, Georgie. aka Lowtech, for uh, giving us some stickers and shit like that, you know. Um, so he got that. We want to just say what's up, check out the car and whatnot. You guys are probably going to see us in our in his vlog because, you know, he asked if we wanted to be in it. We said, fuck yeah, so we're probably going to be in it, you know. But other than that, like I said, we're here at the Carbon 8. Oh my fucking yeah. god, you little shit. You scared the fuck out of me. Yeah. <laughs> but you know we're here we're gonna be installing a inch block on the rear of the truck to make it go just a little bit lower um, but, you know it's all good in the hood um, should be cool all right so you guys can see right here you got master mechanic Christian master mechanic Ricky right here putting on the damn jack stands on the differential or the outside, whatever you want to call it um, you know we need to move that or get this checked up in order to actually get to loosen the u-bolts because like I did mention uh, yeah, we are bit. putting these uh, one inch lowering blocks on, you know, on top of the three inches that's already, so it's going to be seven inches in the rear altogether. I already got a 14. Um, it's going to be cool. Um, Ricky said he wanted to do it, so I'm just going to let him, you know, bite the bullet and have him do it. Um, so yeah, I thought we're out here, Carbon Trap House, it's lit, you know, Christmas, Christian, head out of the Ortiz, and uh, you know. If you guys don't know, um, these are pretty much what the blocks look like. They're just like these little inch of like aluminum or whatever, and you literally just kind of like stack them on top of each other like like this, and you know, well, there you go. You stack them on top of each other like this, and that simply, you know, that just drops you two inches on one side, but in this case, it's just one inch on each side, so it's another inch on the rear that's going to be dropped. Um, so... I mean, I'm hoping to actually tuck at least tire of more in the rear now with it. Um, and hopefully sometime within the next couple of weeks or so that I have off. Um, let me fix the camera this way. 
plan on also rolling down the torsion bars as well too. That way my fenders just uh, barely clip underneath the tire, you know, to give it a more static or flush look, whatever you guys want to call it. Um, so it's going to be cool. Um, what do you have to say? What? Well, do you have any words to say to the people? No? Alright. Actually, yeah. What? Merry Christmas. Alright, Merry Christmas, guys. Ricky, how does it feel like working like this on the truck? What? How does it feel? Feel like what? More room for activities. Yeah, more, yeah. Much fat, is the way better? Yeah. With no bed? Why are you waiting for the car? It's the car. You see shit. It's too zoomed in. The camera's too zoomed in. I know. But I'm getting what he's doing. Hey, but what would the, the blocks do, like Oscar? The blocks are basically, they, I mean, essentially all they do is they lower the rear. Um, just lower it? That's just it? just lower it. Um, there's really no... What happened? Oh. Yeah, essentially there's like really no other point than just to lower the rear. Like, I just... they, on, they, they sit on top of the leaf springs and all right just making leaf. sure for those that don't know and it makes them like the leaf, wait that makes the leaf springs like a little bit stiffer right makes what like the leaf springs like more flat somehow or no uh, that doesn't that has nothing to do with the leaf springs no it brings down your your axle Chassis. oh yeah uh, it brings down the axle with the frame oh. and uh like on lifted trucks it's the opposite way because the it's raising up the frame it's not lowering yeah. the frame so don't listen to me, because apparently I don't know fucking jack shit. So, listen to Ricky. Pretty much. What's next, Ricky? Turning up the bolts. One side, down, one more to go. This is probably like the shittiest part, because you gotta fucking put so much pressure on this shit, make sure they don't fall out. You gotta have them fucking tight, and it's like, it takes forever, man. And you need a fucking breaker bar, or not breaker bar, uh, torque wrench. No, you don't need a torque wrench. You don't? Oh, my arms are my torque wrench, dude. Stay <laughs> wake <laughs> sick, So what happened? Oh. Fucking bolt snapped. For what? Uh, For my fucking shock. Fuck it, we. Running our blocks down. <laughs> and this nigga sees he's a torque wrench. Master. Not you, Ricky. No, it's too skinny, huh? It's too skinny. All right, so pretty Wait much here. we have to go to AutoZone because one of the fucking uh, bolts for the rear shock, it like completely snapped in half. I don't know how or why. Fucking Ricky Torque. No, it was hand. Christian. Fucking Christian's <laughs> Torque hand. But, uh, <laughs> but anyways, we have to go to AutoZone. They literally have one more. That's the last one, so we're going to go pick that shit up. Dude, Hopefully I'm it fits. Um, because honestly, like, I'm trying to get this shit done. Well, I mean, yeah, Ricky's trying to get this shit done because he's got to go to work tomorrow morning. Um, so this is kind of like a little inconvenience or setback. But well, fuck it, you know, shit like this happens, you know, that's why... Hey, what else are we going? Ready? Sick ass, vato. Bouncing off the rev limiter? Dang, sick ass fool. Alright, so this is the bolt that we needed. I mean, I'm hoping this is the bolt that we need because when we fucking were there, the guy had no idea what the fuck we were talking about. Um, it's a fucking auto zone. So I gotta put this bitch on you so you could talk. Yeah, I mean, but anyways, I mean, hopefully we're trying to go home to see our Dr. Carlos' house and get this shit done because I don't want Ricky out to be too late either because he gotta go home and sleep and go to work tomorrow. Pretty much. But, yeah. Alright guys, so it's day two. Um, yesterday we were gonna finish end up recording, but it got... To the point that it was too late the camera was dying and ricky had to go home because he had work the next morning um but i don't know if you guys can hear the truck and turn on in the background um so essentially what happened was that that the lower bolt on the bottom of the shock of the driver's side it snapped for some reason on like the shaft part um so we ended up having to go to autozone to get a new one and autozone supposedly had it which they did don't get me wrong because the bolt is too long and um, Ricky's fear was that if it was too long, 
it was gonna unloosen and this and that and whatnot. So I went to Home Depot today and to figure out to see if I can find any new bolts. And I so happened that I did. Um, so that's the good news that I did find them. Um, it's just a matter of fact of putting them on. They should be the same size because they're uh, 10 by 1.25 metric scale. Um, so they should bolt on, obviously, because I brought the other bolts with me just to measure them, and they have like little measuring scale right there for you. Um, so, yeah, I'm just waiting for Ricky to get home back from work, and then from there we're just gonna pick pick things back up. So I'll see you guys in a quick second. And just like that, guys, we're back. Ricky's here. He finally got back home from work. Say what's up to all the people, Ricky. What's up, guys? Oh shit. So it's like I was just saying. Um, you know this piece this bolt down here was the one that snapped i'll show you guys the bolt right here um all right so pretty much this is the bolt that snapped right here as you guys can see it's like it's pretty it's pretty fucked like r.i.p oh i just dropped okay whatever but um you know whatever the the snap on snap on tool is too strong oh it yeah snapped it yeah I, I only got one side done because first of all it was like nine o'clock almost nine o'clock and it was fucking cold outside and we, well, I was working on that shit outside, and then it didn't help that I snapped that bolt. So, you know, I didn't want to work on the other side at night and, like, you know, try to hurry everything up since I had work the next morning, too. And so we just did one side, and then I'm finishing up the other side today, and it's going to be set. Mm -hmm. You could tell the difference a bit, but it, it, one side's, like, a little bit lower because, obviously, it added one more inch lower, but... It's yeah. nothing too crazy, honestly. It's nothing too crazy, but you'll notice once you put it on the bed. Because mm -hmm. you don't have air on your shocks right now, right? No, they're all aired out. Yeah, once you have your bed, uh, you're pretty much also going to be tucking rim. If you take off your bump stops, for sure. If you take off your bump stops, you put on your bed, you're going to be tucking rim. It'll pro Actually, from the look of it, because this is the side that has the other inch loin block on it. And you can tell barely my finger, my index finger, barely fits between the bump stop and the axle. So, yeah, look. So that's 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 with my weight. I only weigh 160. Imagine the bed. Yeah, the bed weighs like fucking 400 pounds. And then, and then plus, look, look, look at your the, look at your drive shaft. Look, look, you see? Yeah, I'm so close to hitting my drive shaft. So that's what I'm saying. These air ride shocks, so they're probably once, gonna help. So once you add your bed, and then plus the weight with you being in there and everything, it's gonna hit the drive shaft. Believe me, cause yeah. I fucking hit my drive shaft. Yeah. <laughs> So pretty much I'm going to have to actually have – these shocks are actually going to be used now because they're always aired out. I never have air in them because there's no point because I never, you know, I never hit dry shaft or anything. Um, so now is actually going to be the time that I'm actually going to have to have, like, the pump in my truck the whole time. Um, be at least aired up. I don't know how many PSI. Um, but it says – it honestly says up to, like, 25 or something like that when you get the air shocks, but – I fucking when I go when I'm at the shop and I I have time to work on my truck, I put those shits up to like fifty. Really? Yeah, and they have. It says one hundred and twenty psi when you pump them up really? on the shop. And they haven't blown up on me. They fucking they they've been fucking handling them yeah. for the shit that I fucking do. And plus these things have work. lifetime warranty. If you buy them at AutoZone, they have lifetime warranty on them. So if, as long as you keep your receipt or your number or yeah exactly or your number because all of their you know information stays in their system so as long as you have that, all of that like you could just go back and say hey look listen my shocks blue you know it's got lifetime warranty on them so you pretty much get new shocks you know and like i said i don't know if you've guys seen the install video that we had or that ricky and i did on it but they're honestly not that hard they're just like putting new shocks on the rear it's literally two bolts and you just feed the line in through the cabin right there um and honestly that's it All right, so Ricky just got done with the other side. Um, he's just working on this side. He's already putting the block in and pretty much just putting in the U-bolts in that way. Pretty much all he's got to do is just, you know, wrench up the dang bolts. And pretty much that's it. He should be done with that. Um, now, I know some of you are going to be like, oh, Oscar, why aren't you working on your fucking truck? Blah, blah, this and that. Well, no, fuck you. Um, Ricky said he'd help me do it. And, I mean, it ended up him doing it. So you're just about done now, right? Yeah, I'm just about done. I'm just gonna end up losing one of the U-bolts right here because I just have it sitting flush. It came out a little crooked. Oh, okay. Well, you know, thank you. I appreciate this. Your hard work and dedication is gonna pay off. I promise you. So, uh, yeah. Well, you're all done right now, huh? Yeah, that's, that's all done. Pretty much have to lift it up from the differential. 
um, take off the scans, and then you guys are going to see pretty much how, I mean, you could already really tell on the drive shaft as it is, I mean, it lowers a little bit, so you can see, like, my finger barely fits there. Trust me, if you take it for a drive right now, it's going to hit. You're going to hit. Yeah. So, I mean, obviously, you're not really going to tell or notice that it's a lot, a little bit lower now because the bed's obviously not on, but, um, it's there. It's another inch lower to the ground, you know. Now it's just a matter of fact of rolling down the torsion bar, so that's a video for another day. Um, basically, so I'm gonna, I basically wanna get to the point where I can, you know, another inch on the front maybe, or three quarters of an inch. That way at least I'm just tucking tire in the front, kind of like how Ricky is on his. Um, cause you know, dirt nasty low and static life gang forever, you know? So that's just how it is. Um, so yeah, shout out to Ricky. Um, Obviously, all of his information is going to be down in the link down below or down in the description. Hit Ricky up for any of your mechanic needs. He does work real cheap. You know, you need your truck lowered. Ricky's got you. You need uh, your dick sucked. Carlos has got you. And, uh, <laughs> uh but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I think that's going to be it for today's video, guys, honestly. You know... So I want to say one, two, actually two things before I end it. One, you know, apologize for the videos. So we have not posted any videos in like a month and a half or something like that. You know, like I said earlier today or, you know, yesterday when we were recording, you know, school and work has pretty much been consuming most of our time. So we have not been able to pretty much get together and make a video, a solid video at least. Um, and yeah, and second of all, we still are doing that giveaway. We still have the poster. Um, We've been lagging it. We have not made any stickers or at least contacted the guy to, you know, make our stickers. Um, but, yeah, but we do plan on doing the giveaway. Trust me. Um, Carlos is going to be going to Michigan pretty soon for a little bit. Um, and when he comes back, more than likely, that's when it's going to happen. We just need to have an idea as to how we're going to do it. But other than that, yeah, that's pretty much going to be it. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, as always, please like, comment, share, subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. Um, any last words? Um... <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.